Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of copper to nitrate. So in order to do this, I've created a nice little table, and let's take a look. Bam, so the first step is to write down the elements we see in the compound, right? So we see copper, Cu, we see nitrogen, N, and we see oxygen, O. Then is, next is to write down the number of atoms, that's where these subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of copper here, there's an invisible one, that means we have one copper atom. At the bottom of nitrogen, there is a one, but the problem is that nitrogen is tied up in the polyatomic anion nitrate. And you don't have one nitrate here, you have two of them. So if in each nitrate there's only one nitrogen, but you have two nitrates, there should be two nitrogens. Easier way to do it, take a look at that subscript, just multiply it by the outer subscript, okay? Inner subscript, multiply by outer subscript. So the total amount of nitrogen here is two. Following that same logic for oxygen, then the total amount of oxygen should be six. You multiply them. Next is then to identify the mass of each element, and that's where the periodic table comes into play. So let's take a look. So copper here has a mass of 63.55, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is 16. Those masses are in grams per molar am hue. It actually does not matter. The magnitudes stay the same. The values do, they are different, all right? But uh, the magnitudes actually are equivalent, so it doesn't really matter which one we use here. So for the uh, mass of copper, we're going to use 63, 63.55. The mass of nitrogen was 14.01 and oxygen was 16. I write the six first, don't ask me why. So the total mass of the element now is simply gonna be found by multiplying the row on together. So this is gonna be 63.55 total mass of copper. Total mass of the nitrogen is then multiplying that together, so that's 28.02. And then oxygen here is gonna be 96. All right, that's the total mass of the, the oxygen. Did I say nitrogen? I meant oxygen, I'm not sure what I said. But anyway, total mass of the oxygen here, just multiply those on across. Then to find the total mass of the compound, not really sure what's going on, but my computer has a mind of its own. The total mass of the compound now is just gonna be simply added on together. All right, so you're gonna add this total column on up. That'll find the total mass of the entire element now. So this is gonna be 187.57. Since we're solving for molar mass, it's grams per mole. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molar mass of copper to nitrate. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you can, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.